What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority, and I figured today we'd take a little bit of a break from the normal stuff that we usually do here on this channel, like the reviews and the verses and all the other typical stuff, and do something that's a little bit more laid back and fun. So today I'm gonna to talk about what's on my Android phone, uh, how I typically have it set up, the apps that I use, and the apps that I can't live without. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so the phone that I'm currently using right now is the Galaxy S7 Edge. And this is one of the phones that I normally typically default back to uh, when I'm not reviewing or testing out another device. Uh, but no matter which phone I'm using, uh, I always have the same exact setup. Uh, so the launcher that I have is the Google Now launcher. And I like this launcher because it's really simple and it's really clean. And also because it has the Google Now home screen on the left side. Uh, which I really like because it makes it really quick to get to. Uh, on top of that, I have a pretty simple setup. There's nothing too crazy going on here. I just have a clock up top here. Uh, this is just the default clock that comes with the Galaxy S7. So whatever clock I can find uh, by de default on a phone, that's just the one that I use. And it's a really clean looking clock, so I decided to use it. Uh, and then down at the bottom here, my bottom dock, I just have the dialer, Hangouts, which I use for chatting on Hangouts and also as SMS. Uh, the app drawer in the middle, obviously, the Google Play Store, and the Chrome browser. And then my folders, I have four of them. I have a Google folder, a social media folder, productivity, and a games folder. And the Google folder is pretty self-explanatory. It doesn't really have anything too surprising in here. I have Gmail, the Google app, uh, Google Maps, Calendar, Photos, YouTube, and Google Play Music, which is my music service of choice. Uh, and then the last app here, which is a Google app that does not typically come pre-installed on smartphones is the Google Opinion Rewards app. And this app is actually pretty cool because you can gain free Google Play credit just by taking surveys. And the surveys are really quick and simple. They just ask you really basic questions like, when was the last time you went to Walmart? Or when was the last time you went to Home Depot? Uh, stuff like that, really simple stuff. And then you just get credit for it. And the, the surveys take about 30 seconds to a minute to fill out. Uh, so the next folder is the social media folder. So I have Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, an app called GroupMe, which is a, uh, a chatting app for chatting with uh, a lot of your friends or whoever you want to chat with. Um, I use it to chat with a lot of my gaming buddies on Clash of Clans, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, and then the last app here is just the, uh, the secondary app to Instagram called Layouts, which allows you to make those grid type photos where you can stitch multiple photos together. Uh, the next folder is the productivity folder. And this folder is sort of a hodgepodge of stuff, but they, I do have work related stuff in here as well. Uh, the first app here is Slack for uh, communicating with a lot of my uh, colleagues here at Android Authority. Uh, the next app is Uber. Uh, everybody knows what Uber is. Uber is for getting a ride. Uh, and then I have PayPal for sending and receiving money. Uh, and then the next app here is my bank app, which is First Federal. It's a bank you've probably never heard of because uh, it's pretty local, I think. Uh, but I use this app to check my bank account to make sure nothing's going wrong. Uh, then I have the Nelnet application for paying off my student loans because I was a student at one point. Uh, and then the next three apps are actually for controlling the lights that you see in a lot of my videos, like the lights that are on this desk here, and also the lights that I have in my living room. Um, but the LifeX app here is really clean, very nice looking, uh, it's easy to use. Uh, you can turn your bulbs on and off just like you normally uh, would expect to. And you can also set different themes, uh, change the colors, also set different effects like make the light strobe or make them cycle through different colors uh, or even have them beat to the music that you're playing in your house. Um, and then the Philips Hue app is also really clean as well. Uh, it's really nicely laid out. Uh, you can change the brightness of your lights. You can change the colors. You can also uh, change the scene of the lights. Uh, so whatever it is that you're feeling at the moment, you can change them. You can see that I'm changing them right now. Uh, so if I want this Arctic Aurora, I can do that and the lights will automatically change to blue. Uh, or you can make your own scenes as well, which is what I have here, uh, which is just basically an all purple slash pink theme because um, purple and pink sort of look really good on camera, which is basically the only reason why I use that color, not because it's my favorite or anything, uh, but it just looks really good on, on camera. So I like to use uh, purple and pink. Um, but anyways, uh, the next app that I have uh, besides LifeX and Philips Hue 
is an app called OnSwitch. And this, this app here is a total lifesaver because instead of having to use both LifeX and Philips Hue uh, separately, I can actually just use the OnSwitch application, which lets me control both my LifeX bulbs and my Philips Hue bulbs in one app. Uh, now the app is a little bit buggy. It does freeze from time to time, especially if you haven't opened it up in a long time. Uh, and it's also, uh, it's, in, it's in desperate need of a redesign to say the least. Uh, it kind of doesn't really look all that nice, but it works extremely well. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, effects that you can download. Some of them are free, uh, some of them are paid, but you can check those out if you want. Uh, then you can also make the lights uh, strobe or change colors, stuff like that. Uh, same thing you can do with LifeX. Uh, and you can also set different groups. So I have one for controlling all my lights uh, in the apartment so I can turn them all on and off with one switch. And I also have separate ones for just the office and one for um, the ones I have in my living room, which are the LifeX ones. So if I wanna turn these off right now, I can easily do that. And I can also just turn them back on uh, just like that. So it's really simple, really easy to do. Uh, and then lastly, the last folder that I have here is the games folder. And the two games that I have right now are Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. Both are Supercell games. And I've been playing Clash of Clans for like several years now, which sounds like a really long time, especially for a mobile game. Most people don't really play mobile games that long, but it's a really addicting game, especially if you've invested a lot of time and even maybe a little bit of money into it. Uh, and the next game that I play is Clash Royale. And uh, this is basically sort of a spinoff of Clash of Clans, uh, but it's a completely different game entirely. And I don't really, I have a love and hate relationship with this game. It kind of annoys me, but I still continue to play it. And I'm not really sure why, because it just drives me up the wall and kind of makes me mad a little bit at times. But it is what it is. This next app here is kind of a funny one. This is how to tie a tie. And I don't really wear ties all that often. So whenever I have to wear one, I sort of don't really remember how to uh, tie one. And this app is really awesome because it has a bunch of different knots that you can tie for your tie. Um, the only one I really use is Windsor, but there's a bunch of other different ones like the Half Windsor, uh, Diagonal, Atlantic, uh, whatever you wanna do with your tie, um, this app is really useful for that. Uh, but yeah, that's really it as far as my layout is concerned. I like to keep things very simple and clean as you can tell because it makes it a lot easier to switch from one phone to the next when I have a particular setup that does not take me a long time to do. And there you have it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and thought it was a little bit interesting. And if you wanna see us do more videos like this that's different from the typical stuff that we normally do here on this channel, let us know down in the comment section below and let us know what it is that you guys would like to see us do. Uh, as always, give this video a thumbs up if you did. Enjoy it and subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And check us out on social media like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, all that good stuff. The links are right below me and the link to my Twitter as well is also below me. So feel free to follow me there and check the website androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.